XAI API just came out, and I will be showing you how to run Grok locally using Python. If you're new to my channel, I have a website at kevinwoodrobotics.com where I have a bunch of resources on robotics and computer vision. So check it out and subscribe to learn more. All right, so what we want to do is go ahead and go to Google and just type in XAI API. And it's going to be this first link right here that says API XAI developer platform. So go ahead and click on that link. It's going to take you to this page. What you want to do is go ahead and first create an account. So go up here and click login. Once you log in, set up your login stuff and then log in. Once you do that, it's going to prompt you to create a team. Go ahead and create a team. It's going to show you an API key right here. So go ahead and store that. And go ahead and click Continue. Once you do that, you're going to go back to Home. Now what you want to do is go ahead and create your XAI API key in your environment variables, and then put your API key right here for the variable value. Make sure you have OpenAI installed by running the pip install OpenAI command. Now you're ready to run your Python code. Go ahead and import OS and from OpenAI, import OpenAI. Set up your API key right here and then set up your client. Once you do that, just do the client.chat.completions.create. Choose your Grok model. Here I'm using the Grok2 mini. And then choose some of the messages that you want. And then go ahead and print the answer. Then go ahead and run this. So if this is the first time creating a team in XAI, you may see this message here that says your team is currently initializing and cannot make API requests. So go ahead and just wait a while for this to go away and finish setting up your team. And one more note is that you actually have to purchase credits in order to run this. So you also see this error here that says your team is out of credits and cannot make API requests. Please purchase credits to continue. So if you want to actually test it out, go ahead and purchase some credits and then run the Python code again. All right, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.